You know what? It seems like a weird thing to say, but I think I'm pretty much done collecting. Over the last few years, we have all seen a steady decline when it comes to the detail and quality of collectible action figures. Heck, the price point alone for a single carded action figure is no longer considered good value for money. Let's use Hasbro Marvel Legends as an example, but please note this is not an attack on Hasbro. Now there is no denying that we are getting a lot from Hasbro when it comes to our beloved Marvel characters. In fact, we are getting far more than we could ever have imagined. But when compared to their previous incarnation, Toy Biz, it is clear to see where the company has chosen to cut corners. With the same body moulds being recycled and reused time and time again, we aren't exactly getting anything new, and the details we were once getting per figure seem to be becoming less and less frequent as new releases are announced. And then of course there are the character repeat releases. I mean honestly, how many is too many? As a brand, Toy Biz and Marvel Legends have pretty much outdone themselves time and time again with particular fan favourites, Spider-Man and Iron Man of course being the main two that constantly get updated and put into stores. And I get it, they are well known fan favourite characters, and with new fans coming into the collecting hobby, they want to make sure everyone gets one. But with those things aside, there is of course one other thing that stops us in our tracks when it comes to collecting action figures, and it pretty much only bothers us completionists. Over the years, Hasbro have been very careful about how they market their releases, rarely giving us a full team all at once, particularly with the non-MCU figures. Because of this, sometimes it can take years, or even dare I say decades, to complete a team for your display. But then, after that time has passed, what happens when, like me, you get to the end of your collecting run? What happens when after years of collecting you eventually finish building your favourite team, but the prices are miles too high to even begin to consider starting another? Well, I guess we just stop. I'm in the same situation when it comes to comic books. I am now only two issues away from completing my Amazing Spider-Man run, but with the market being how it is, it just seems crazy to continue another big run at this time. So again, I have to ask, is this it? Am I out? Am I done? I kinda think so. Now don't get me wrong, this is a great position to be in. I essentially own everything I ever wanted, but it seems an odd place to be. Can I really go cold turkey? Can I stop collecting? I'm not convinced I can, but time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and like me, you're close to completing one of your collecting runs, let me know down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button so the people know that we're here, and until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.